Welcome to another session about the cloud platform, cool automation cloud platform. I am Shuki Diskind. Let's have a look today at anomaly settings. So we'll go to a specific site and we'll go to 10 ways office. Under automation, we can see anomaly rules. So here we can set different anomaly rules. We can set them for different sites. So we can set the anomaly rule, then we can export and import it into other sites. We will be exporting over here. So if I click on the export, I can pick up which ones and then I export it. And then I can import the file into another site. Now the anomaly settings. So you set different anomalies and then on, under notification settings, you will set who receives these anomalies and other error have a look at notification settings videos so here we'll look at a few of them so for example if we look at let's say Daikin wet operation so you see over here you have the name of the rule you have the brand the priority that matters when you set notifications based on priorities so if you set it a high medium or low if that anomaly occurs then it will you will receive a notification based on the priority level you set for the notification and then whether it's a custom rule or there's some rules you can pick up from a list here we can see for example this example this condition it took some differences in some uh, uh, data from the auto unit you see here the suction pipe temperature and over here you see so, uh, an evaporating temperature so you'll see different uh, settings if it's uh, the difference is below two degrees example that will be in heating uh, in cooling and you can have the same uh, uh, in heating but if the temperature difference and the outdoor unit is thermal on for at least 30 minutes which means the outdoor unit is now in demand for 30 minutes and the outdoor is in cooling mode as we see on for 30 minutes and the outdoor ambient temperature is above 12 degrees for 30 minutes this will show us that if all this applies that means that we have liquid returning to the condenser which means that either one of the expansion valves on the indoor units is just not there or fully open allow the refrigerant through or maybe the power is switched off the unit was switched off the unit and the unit was removed uh, with a master reset from the system electronically from the system but the valves are still open i remember we had a case like this where they used to have a, a bc box uh, or a bs box and an indoor unit inside some utility cupboard and they decided they don't need it anymore they did not disconnect the unit from the refrigerant side and only disconnected it from the electrical side and did the master reset as an outdoor unit to teach the unit that that unit the outdoor unit that this indoor doesn't exist anymore however physically it was there and slowly the expansion valve from the pressure opened and it was shooting liquid back at the compressor clients did not have the cool remote app and did not have our cloud platform and therefore burned the compressor and inverter board and it was a quite expensive a remedy to fix they fixed it it was operating again and it burnt another compressor because the air conditioning install uh, service engineers had no clue of the existence of that indoor unit until they found that they corrected it and after two compressor failures they finally disabled it here and wet operation theoretically that should have been seen and then you apply to which units you want that to apply on the system and you click save so for example we'll look at a uh, one more one other one if you have for example a simple one for a uh, high room temperature let's say so again the details at the top are similar but here are the conditions are in the unisection temperature is above 28 degrees celsius for 15 minutes so that means the return air temperature is above 28 and the indoor unit is set on to at least 15 minutes so that means the unit was operating it for 15 minutes and the indoor room temperature is still above 28 degrees you can set anything you want here this is just an example 
So you can set different uh, settings. You can see there's many different uh, types. For example, in the in the unit leaking valve, leaking refrigerant, expansion valve is open and zero, which means it's actually closed for 30 minutes. But the indoor unit, the gas pipe temperature difference to the liquid pipe temperature is above 3 degrees for 30 minutes. Which means that although it's in zero, we see a temperature difference across the suction, uh, 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 the liquid and the gas, and uh, uh, across the inlet and the outlet from the fine core. So this is the settings, how to set different anomaly rules and conditions. Thank you for watching.